I remember we have Christy coming in. That's awesome. That's great. All right. Well, today we're talking about social media setup. And let me let in everybody here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's great to see everyone here. So today we're talking about social media setup. And so, oops, just making sure that um, we're here and that you can see. So social media basics, the setup, how we go about setting up the different social media platforms. And uh, let's begin. Before we begin, obviously, here is who we are. Uh, we are SBDC Oregon at Blue Mountain Community College. Please give us a call. 541-278-5833. Give us a call. Don't hesitate. 541-278-5833. Thank you for joining us, everybody, for this second session. I'm going to have this slide back up again at the very end so that if you miss the number, if you miss the email address and you're interested in giving us a call, um, you'll have all that information. So that'll be great. Last week, we had a chance to take a look at social media overview last week, and that was great. That was well attended. Um, today, we're talking about social media setup, so that'll be today. And then next week, website and e-commerce. And then the week after that, uh, on the 7th of April, we have Grow Your Following. So this is where we are in the series, Digital Marketing Essentials. So just uh, to remind, remember where we are exactly here. So remember video conference calls, uh, norms, uh, and so on. So here is, whoops, sorry, I went a little fast here. Um, it is always good etiquette to mute yourself when you're not talking, all right? You're, you can add questions in the chat. I'll periodically check, check the chat. We have our wonderful team here, me members of our team, uh, answering questions in the chat, helping me out. Again, we work together, that's great. That's great. And uh, again, please feel free to use any of the reaction buttons, any of the thumbs ups or anything like that if you want to be reacting. And, um, so yeah, that'll be great. That'll be great. Still a couple of people coming into the room. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask you the first question that we had. So remember, I gave you some homework last time, some challenges, so to speak. Uh, I wanted to know if anybody tried any of the challenges from last week. Anybody tried a social media platform uh, that you might not otherwise have tried? Go ahead and leave that in the chat and let me know if you've uh, given it a try. All right, just to see, I'm going to check the chat here. Put your questions in here, says Christy. Absolutely. We tr uh, Laura tried Discord. Yes, very good, very good. Others... You know, give it the best way to go about it really is to try it, play around with it, really see how you're comfortable with it and uh, see which, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, hey, see which platform really works for you. Oh, you opened a Twitter account, says Becky, and already have one follower. Well, congratulations. That's how you build a following little by little. Very good. Very good. All right. This is great. This is great. So let's go ahead and start. So the plan for today is, whoops, the plan for today is we're going to learn how to set up a free Canva account. And then we're going to learn how to set up a Facebook business page followed by an Instagram business account, which we saw a little bit last time. Uh, looking at, we're going to look at the personal and business LinkedIn pages. And then we're going to learn uh, about how to set up the Twitter account, a uh, Twitter account. So again, it's all, it all has to do with setting up setting up the account. That is our goal today. So uh, that's what we're doing. All right. It's great to see you, Don. It's great to see you. <laughs> I see your camera right there. <laughs> uh, it's great to have a uh, see your face. That's awesome. All right. Let's get to it. So Canva just, we, uh, we are all big fans of Canva here at uh, SBDC at BMCC. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create a number of things, including social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and so on. It has a wide variety of templates to use, and it is free, but it also offers paid subscription and uh, other uh, other functionalities for different costs and, and so on. Um, 
If you want, you can pay for a physical product to be printed and shipped over to you, which is kind of neat, which is really, really neat. Um, Canva is uh, very simple to use. So before you begin, make sure that you have a an address, email address. Again, you can sign up using Google or Facebook. You can go ahead and use your team name, a team name, so your business name will work, and any contact information you wish to give out for your team account, in your team account. And of course, the first project you want to design. So Canva will look like this, canva.com, right? It'll look like this. And you can go ahead and click right over here on sign up, right here. And um, very simple, you can again, sign in with your email. You can sign in with your Google account, your Facebook account. It's totally up to you. Give it a name, all right? Give, put, put in your name, put in your email address and select a password. It's fairly standard, fairly standard stuff, just like you're signing up for anything else, all right? And then who or what will, be, uh, what will you be using Canva for? They're interested in knowing some small business, large company, nonprofit, all right? And then you can go ahead and name a team, add a little logo for your team, and then click on continue. Or you can skip this step, all right? You can always uh, get an invitation link for other members and send them that invitation link so that you can work on projects together, or you can skip the step. Uh, it allows you to try Canva Pro for free, uh, or again, you can do that later if you wanna start looking at how it all works out on Canva for you. Uh, then it's up to you to start your first design. So you can click on, Type in anything really, whoops, I went a little fast here. Type in anything really, if you want a social media banner, a logo or something like that, it'll all be there, Facebook post, Facebook cover and so on. And so, uh, again, right here, as soon as you are uh, logged in, you can click here on the categories that you can see here um, that uh, show you all of the uh, different topics that you can use. So we'll do social media, right there, and maybe we'll do an Instagram post uh, for you, or you can choose any of these. It depends on what you're looking to do. So that's kind of fun. You can go, go ahead and search that up here, Facebook cover, and there you go. Pick which one you want, start with a blank one, or pick a template that you're interested in uh, starting off with. It's a, it's a pretty robust yet standard uh, photo editing video, uh, I'm sorry, photo background editing uh, program. And so let's say we start off with this one right here. You have, um, this is the template. You can edit your template accordingly. Again, it's, it'll be totally up to you, however you want to do it. And then once you're done, you can download this picture as a PNG, as a JPEG, totally ready ready for you to go, ready to go on a social media post, on a website, and so on. It's kind of awesome. It is a really useful. I've used it many, many times. And um, yep, it is, uh, it is great. The functionality that's there for free is really neat. And then it looks like that. There you go. All right, very good. So now, I'd like to go ahead and show you um, Canva just a little bit more. Let me go ahead and share my screen here on Canva. That's the Facebook, that's the next one. So again, we start off with a design and you have the ability to again, create your design or select over here on the, at the bottom, I wanted to add this, uh, select a custom size. This custom size right here allows you to de decide exactly, oops, Decide exactly what width and height you want your uh, Canva image to be and uh, in inches, millimeters, centimeters, or pixels. And then you can go ahead and begin. Uh, again, it is fairly straightforward. Again, I'm not here showing you the PowerPoint presentation. What I'm showing you here is the actual program right here. Uh, give it a second as it loads right there. You have a lot of functionality here on the left-hand side with elements. Oops. We have more friends coming in. A lot of functionality here with elements right here. Uh, you can upload your own pictures right there. We have more friends coming in. This is great. All right. And, um, and so on and so forth. You can add text, okay, just like we saw 
and it'll all be there. Again, the button is over here for sharing once you're done, and then you can download your link right there, or you can give access to people who can collaborate on the same document. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool right there. Please make sure to uh, ask any questions about what we're talking about inside the chat if you have any questions. But really, the best way to go about this is, is really is to try it out, to try it out. Give it a go. And um, this is really, really uh, straightforward. And uh, that's, you know, try something. If it doesn't work, try something else. OK, that's great. Let's go back to our presentation here right over here. And now we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about how to set up Facebook, particularly Facebook business pages. So again, as a reminder, Facebook is the most used of all social media pl platforms uh, right there. We saw these statistics last week. Oops. We saw these statistics last week. Almost 90% of daily active users come from outside the U.S. Facebook accounts for 45% of monthly social visits. And again, every day we're talking about over 300 million photos that are uploaded by people around the world. It is uh, quite an important uh, social media platform. And so, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, before we begin, make sure that you have a, a profile photo. Uh, profile photo, a cover photo. Again, we're talking about a cover photo that's 820 times 312 pixels rectangle. So you, again, you can use Canva to define that 820 times 312 and then go ahead and create it. All right. Afterwards, um, you'll need some basic business information such as your website, your business location, hours of operation, and so on. All right. Uh, so, and so any information that you have would be great. So in order to start again, right over here, you'll go ahead and click on those nine dots right here. Do you see them? I just want to make sure that you see them. I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see, change the arrow here just to make sure it's over here in the corner. All right. It's over here in the corner. And so this is the, what you're looking at here is a, a personal, um, uh, Facebook account, but from that personal account, you can then click on uh, here and then click on add a page or create page that you see here on the on the right hand side there. From that, you'll be able to create a page, give it a name, name of your business company. I'm going to call it leadership. I called it leadership. That's just a generic name that I'm going to call it. But this is how to create Facebook business pages. Okay. Uh, from there. Uh, give it a category, all right? So is it a consulting service? What is it exactly? Uh, and then give it a description, you know, and then go ahead and click on save. So we told it leadership quick or leadership, all right? And it is right here. It's fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Uh, and a way to add photos is when you're on, uh, when you're on the page, so you can select the page that you're on from uh, the list. Uh, you'll see down here, it says leadership. Uh, you can click on that little icon right here that has the um, uh, photo icon and then add the cover photo right here for you to go ahead and uh, put your branded content. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Remember that it's it needs to be relevant. It needs to be um, appropriate to your brand, just like we talked about last time, making sure that it is saying what you want it to say, all right? Absolutely. All right. Uh, now, how do we set our username? Well, one of the things that we have here, and we're going to take a look at this more in detail in just a second, but we have the settings here on the left-hand side. All right. And then uh, you're brought to your settings page, and you can click on this edit button to set up the username. Remember that the username should be, again, relevant to your brand, all right? Not just at super dude 43 or something like that right it's going to be it's got to be relevant to your brand right this is a business page okay it's not a personal page so there you go all right awesome great all right so let's take a look at some more page settings all right again you go ahead and you'll go into settings and on the left hand side here you'll be given page settings uh, and information that you can go ahead and change according to what you need it to do. Uh, 
I can see the in the chat we have questions. I'll take questions right after the part on Facebook. Uh, let's dive deeper. So I'm going to stop sharing right here, and then I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go into uh, my uh, Facebook page so that we can go ahead and go back here. So here is my personal page right here. Again, oops. Again. It'll be here on the right-hand side. It'll be here on the right-hand side, right here. All right, I can go ahead and click. So just a quick review, click on page right here. I've already created a page that allows me, that's called leadership. Uh, you can click on your profile photo right here in order to get access to all your profiles. So I have my personal one right here. And then I have over here, the uh, business page that I created right here. On, again, on the left-hand side is where you can access the settings. But if, for those of you who have not yet done a business page or a Facebook page just like this, again, you can add a cover picture right here. You can add a logo right here. Or, and uh, Facebook will go ahead and encourage you to add and add more, more things down over here. So for example, if you wanna add a biography, for example, or something like that, you can edit more details and add more. It'll really help out. Um, there you go. So some of the settings are over here on the left-hand side, okay? Um, it's, uh, again, you can change your name and username. I have not set this up yet. I just recently set this up for this class. Uh, some privacy information are, are over here on the left-hand side, all right? Uh, this allows you to, um, uh, take a look and edit some pr for some privacy information. Who can see your post? Are they public? Are they private? And so on. Your Facebook page information is here. Uh, again, you can download the activity log. There's a lot of things that you can try here. Again, the best way to go about it is to give it a go, give it a try. Uh, information about page. So again, who can post on your page? You can change that. Information about tagging and so on and so forth. So it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Let me go back to settings here. Uh, let's take a look at new pages experience right here on the second category. This gives you uh, the ability to add access or give access to other people um, to alter and change or post information on your Facebook page, well, a business page. So for example, I can add another person here by clicking add new. And if you have a collaborator, somebody you want to work with or someone like that, let me see. Uh, I'm going to type in the name of my wife, for example, and here she is. Here's her profile. So uh, you both would be able to work and collaborate on the same page. I'm not going to send that page over to my wife, but this page over to my wife, but you get the idea by clicking add new and then going ahead and putting the name. It's all there. It's all there. Information about uh, page management history and so on right over here. Let's go back over to settings, all right? Uh, you can go ahead and uh, do all sorts of things here by getting information with regards to the notifications that you get. Again, take a look at it, tag, um, alter it, change it accordingly, however you wanna receive notifications right here. And then here's your linked account, linked account right over here. So you have the ability to connect and link your account, uh, your Instagram account, your Facebook account, or your WhatsApp account and your Facebook account. You can go ahead and do that. All right. Um, depending on their access to your Facebook account, people may be able to manage things on both is what it says, such as messages, insights, content, and ads. So that is the advantage of going ahead and connecting the two accounts in a fairly straightforward way. Um, let's go ahead and, and uh, click on that. This is what it would look like, right? And then you would click on connect and then again, allow access to the inbox. You get to decide if that's what you wanna try and do and then click on confirm. Uh, once you've confirmed it right over here and then a window will pop up for you to sign in with your Instagram. Oh, a little error message. That's okay. You would log in over here and there you go. So this works. Uh, pretty straightforward. And there you go. There you go. Let me go back to leadership here. Uh, I'm sorry, let me go back to leadership here so that I can show you a couple more things uh, right here. 
on the uh, main page here, on the main page for my company that I just set up here, um, I have the option of clicking on these three buttons over here on the right-hand side. Let me make sure that you can see it, see what I'm talking about. It's right here. Okay. Uh, this allows me, oh, I see the questions here. I'm getting to them. I'm getting to them. I want to make sure that I don't forget anything for Facebook. <laughs> all right. Uh, you have the option of clicking the button here and adding all sorts of information to that, your page. You can add a story. You can view it from the perspective of a viewer, a visitor, or from your perspective. You can even add an action button, that action button, right? So for example, if you prefer email over messaging, or you want to drive more traffic to your site, you can change an option based on the engagement that you're looking for. All right. So for example, you can have um, send a message right here, a Facebook messenger, WhatsApp, call now. It's totally up to you how you want to do this. Uh, best way, again, to do it is to give it a try and see if it works for you right over here. So this sets up the action button. I'm not going to change it. We're going to just be right there and so on. All right. Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, perfect. Um, on the left-hand side here, you have the op opportunity to take a look at, let me make sure that we're all seeing the same thing here. Uh, take a look at your professional dashboard. This gives you information about who's watching your watching your content, who's reading your content, how far your posts have gone, and so on, uh, who your audience is, and uh, links and relationships to your page. It's really fascinating. So again, this gives you a lot of data. The more you post, the more data you get, which is really neat, right over here. And um, again, your ad center, if you want to manage your ads and see results, again, we're not going to go too deep into this, but this is where it is over here on the left-hand side. Uh, again, this is all for setup. So if this is part of your setup process, this, this is where it would be at, right over here. And again, the settings are all right here. Uh, the best thing to do is to populate this with as much information as you can, all right? Editing details, editing details and whatnot. Um, and then maybe adding more photos. Again, it's totally up to you. And there you go. All right, let me go ahead and uh, pause this and go to the questions. My goodness. Thank you. You've been very patient as my, I've been covering the whole Facebook section. I wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't, um, uh, I wanted to make sure that we didn't, um, that I didn't forget anything. <laughs> so uh, Ryan asks, thank you, Ryan. Thank you for everybody here. If there are any sorts of copyrights uh, with Canva itself, or is everything you create on the platform yours? All right. So Christy answers, and um, thank you, Christy, for that. Uh, Christy answers, everything they offer is available to you. Some of them cost money. Yes, it does. And some of them are free. Unless you upload your a co a copyright photo, which is you don't want to do that, uh, right? Then you're good to go. All right. Uh, and again, downloading everything that you cr uh, create. Uh, Christy continues on and says that Canva is great with uh, pre-selected templates to fit all your needs without having to worry about the pixels. Yes, so you can choose Facebook banner, for example, and the and it's all right there all included. Uh, again, it is, uh, it's great. It's pretty cool. All right. Uh, next up is, um, uh, oh, uh, Ramona had a question, but uh, her signal kept cutting out. So <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, let's see. Ryan continues on with a question. Thank you, Ryan. Is it recommended to create a business page off of an existing personal account? Uh, or just to create a completely new Facebook off of an email that you would have for business purposes? Is there an advantage to either? Uh, and Christy answers, uh, Christy answers, uh, you have to start with a personal page. Yes, you do. It's all based on that. And then you go ahead and make your pages, all right? You can set it um, so, so that no one can uh, see it if you don't want uh, a personal presence on Facebook. Yes. Uh, Christy continues on, and I'm reading from the chat here. One mistake people make is to try to make a personal page with a business name, which is a bad idea. First, you can get busted by Facebook the whole if, when the whole thing can come down. That's right. Plus, there are a lot of functionalities for businesses that you might want, yes, that you will want, that a personal page might not be able to give you, will not be able to give you. Okay. Um, and so... Um, uh, again, please make sure that if you have uh, any uh, questions, 
Um, again, a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the individual advisor might be the best way if you have any specific uh, questions with regards to your company and your business. So that's, uh, that's important. So there was a question about um, being stuck, uh, making the page and starting the page with a new business name. Um, so um, again, that, that might be a good, good idea. So uh, I see a hand up. What Ramona, does, does Ramona want to unmute and you know, if it's something that we can address quickly, I couldn't tell how extensive of an answer she would require, but uh, Ramona, okay. do you want to give it a shot? Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I was just checking. Um, I was just uh, wondering, because I missed the beginning just on how to add the new page. That was all I was confused about. Oh, so okay. Just kind of a brief on that. Because my thing, I had two pages of your guys' um, class open, so it kept echoing back and forth. And I couldn't hear it, so I just missed the first oh. couple minutes, and that's mm -hmm. that was, um, the part I missed on anyway. Thank you, Ramona. Let me go ahead and show it to okay. you again. Let me go ahead and show it to okay, you again. Thank you. Don't you worry about it. Thank you, Ramona, and thank you for uh, <laughs> thank all you that. My it. goodness. No, 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 not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, we're back here. Let me go ahead and go back. So this is just, you know, uh, classroom review is always important. Uh, I'm going to go back to my main um, uh, um, Facebook account right over here. And so you would go ahead, Ramona, and click right here on the nine dots, the menu here, and then go down here and click on page. Do you see that, Ramona? Right over here. And that will give you the yes, opportunity. That would give you the opportunity to put in a page name and a category and so on. So it's really, really straightforward. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, and then start populating it with as much information as, uh, as you have it that is relevant for your business. Absolutely. Right over awesome. here. Awesome, thank you. That's yes, right. yes, yes. And thank you, thank you. We, you know, without your questions, it's, uh, <laughs> it's important. Um, so let's um, make sure that, uh, let's see, where am I? Let's make sure that uh, we're back uh, here. Just want to make sure that we're back here. So we took a look a little bit deeper on how to set up Facebook uh, and so on. We took a look how to link an Instagram and Facebook account. All right. Again, it's in the settings. All right. Now let's talk about Instagram. Now let's talk about Instagram. Again, Instagram is a visual platform that allows you to form a personal connection with your uh, customers by sharing visual content, by sharing visual content. A quick uh, review about Instagram. We're talking about a billion monthly users and half a, half a billion daily users, with 73% of teens saying that Instagram is the best way for brands to reach out to them about new products or promotions, right over here. Uh, we're talking about uh, 200 million Instagrammers visiting at least one business profile every day, and about 1,000 photos are uploaded to Instagram every second. Before you start with Instagram, make sure that you have an email address with your uh, uh, cell phone number that um, may maybe that has that Instagram app on it, a mobile phone number, uh, photo, basic business information, such as your website, business location, et cetera, and so on. These are always things that are important because that's what we're setting up, essentially. All right. And again, some visual content to post. All right. What we're going to cover is a couple. Oops. Sorry about that. I went a little too fast here. What we're going to cover is a basic setup, uh, how to make the business page. We're going to review that from last time. And then again, how to post to Instagram. Uh, for those of you who do not have Instagram, this will be uh, new. For those of you who, uh, who do, this will be a good review uh, right over here. So the basic setup, you're going to want to go ahead and click on sign up if you don't have an account right over here. Uh, add your mobile number and all that information here. Great. That'll be great. Uh, add in, include your birthday. That's what they want. It's not necessarily shared, but they need that for their uh, information. Add a phone number to get back into Instagram because they're going to send a, a notific SMS notification uh, just to make sure that you are who you say you are. All right. And then you get in a confirmation code via email uh, that you can get and then put that in confirmation code right here. Take a second to read the terms and conditions and then back to Instagram. And then uh, there are suggestions for you to follow. Again, you can choose any one of these. These are the regular suggestions. You don't have to. You can follow whoever you want. 
Um, and then we're going to go over here into the menu, which is over here on the top right hand side. That top right hand side here, uh, we'll go ahead and show off the settings. In the settings, you can add your phone number right over here. Uh, and again, information about you. Um, and then, uh, yeah, absolutely. And then click on submit once you're done. We saw this last time, just uh, let's uh, take a look at it again. Make Instagram business page, all right? Um, and so uh, let's take a look. From our phone, we go into uh, the uh, settings right over here. Go into the top right with the three dashes, click on settings, and then into the account. All right, remember we're, uh, we are changing it to a professional account, into the account, and then over here to switch to professional account. You're going to get your professional account. It's going to say that you can get access to insights about your followers, your account performance, and so on. You can get insights um, to see how your posts are doing and reach out for more people. Select a category that, your business, that you are in, an industry or a category right over here. You know, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then uh, add a category, you know, we're going to pick product, for example, we're going to display this on uh, our, uh, on our account that we are a business service company, for example, we're going to click on done. Uh, we're going to select the word business right over here. Again, pretty straightforward for retailers, local businesses, brands, organizations, and service providers, All right, right here. And then we're going to get to next, uh, enter our business address. And then we're going to click on next. Uh, the page category, we're going to go back. Again, we're not going to connect. We've already connected Facebook to Instagram. So again, we, we can do it from here, creating a new Facebook page or connect to it. We're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and just go on and complete our profile, making sure that we have our names, the company name right over here, the username. Again, make sure that it's relevant to what you're talking about, to your brand, to your business. Very important, all right? Okay, right over here. And then a website and then a quick bio. Changing the profile photo, adding the logo, adding the whatever profile photo that you're looking for for your business, right over here. And then clicking on done. You can invite friends, all right, um, to uh, share in all, uh, all the new uh, Instagram profile that you've created. And um, there you go. You can invite them in various ways, all right? And then uh, that's about it. Then it's time for you to share photos and videos, uh, your content right over here. How we post to Instagram, uh, we're going to click on that little plus sign at the top right, right over here. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, you see where we are over here at the top right, the little plus sign. Uh, and uh, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, pick your content right over here. Click on next. Add any filters that you want. Again, it's up to you. All right. Click on edit if you wish to edit uh, any other way. All right. You can uh, write a caption for it. Tag different people. Add a location. You can create this as a promotion. And you can connect it again uh, onto uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, or anything like this. Uh, oops, sorry, wrong one. And then you'll have your post right over here on Instagram. Um, so it's pretty neat. It's pretty um, straightforward. And um, it can be easy. So uh, Christy, go ahead. I see a hand up. And then I'm going to take the questions. Uh, I have a question, which is when you um, click on that plus sign on Instagram, you get more than one um, option as far as uh, whether it's going to be a reel. Where's my camera? Yeah. A reel, a story, a post. Do you want to explain those real quick? Yeah. So, uh, again, there are different functionalities uh, that, uh, that we have. Uh, uh, Instagram stories is something that you can uh, try. Uh, posts, I would start with posts which is the simplest one, uh, start first with post and really explore all these functionalities and see uh, which one works best for you. 
one tip that you can uh, try uh, to get more comfortable with Instagram is uh, to go ahead and uh, do a personal account first and really um, get used to all the different functions that you have. Uh, uh, but again, the simplest one is the post. Uh, like we saw, like we just demonstrated here, we have a reel. Uh, you can put in a video content. You can put in photo content. It's really all about the visuals. That's the key. It's really all about the visuals. So that's that's key. That's important. Let me um, uh, take a look at the, the questions and just to make sure that I'm not leaving anybody behind. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, thank you. So we have um, uh, Ryan. Um, let's see. Is it recommended to create? Oh, we already talked about uh, um, creating a, a um, personal page and then uh, for Facebook. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, Christy adds, um, Christy adds, uh, unlike Facebook, uh, thank you, Christy, for this, by the way. Thank you. This helps a lot. Unlike Facebook, Instagram is phone-based. Yes, almost no one uses Instagram on the computer. It's on your phone. Facebook added phone functionality later because it was clear that they needed to, but originally it was a desktop system. Uh, on Instagram, this is important. Just want to make sure that there's no confusion here. Uh, you don't need to start with a personal account, all right? But you can go straight into the business account. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, and then um, my recommendation is if you want to get more comfortable with Instagram, you can always start with your own personal account and really get more used to how Instagram works. And then go ahead and do and change it over to the uh, to that um, uh, business account to the professional account. Uh, so let's move on now to LinkedIn. LinkedIn is uh, a number, something that a lot of us have. Uh, it is the world's largest professional network on the internet. Uh, you can use LinkedIn to find the right job, connect and strengthen personal, I'm sorry, professional, not personal, professional relationships uh, and, um, and get the skills that you need. We saw this last time. Um, again, some stats for uh, LinkedIn. 51% uh, of U.S. college graduates use LinkedIn, and a quarter of U.S. adults are signed up. Um, very, very important. Uh, this was a surprise to a lot of people last time, but a quarter are of LinkedIn of uh, 18 to 24 year olds use LinkedIn, so which is a surprise to a number of people. But again, this is a review from last time. Uh, just, j just to uh, get our feet wet back into LinkedIn, and there you go. Uh, so, um, have you used LinkedIn recently and effectively? What do you know about LinkedIn? So these were questions that we asked uh, last time, all right? Uh, and before you begin, make sure that you have uh, an email address, a profile picture, you have a cover photo, a current, a current employer, information about you, and past employers, all right? Information about your education, list of skills that you might have, and so on. On LinkedIn, you're going to go to linkedin.com. You're going to click in on the sign in button right here. You're going to put in your information. Again, we're setting it up uh, with um, your email address and your password. Here I am right over here. This is my profile. You're going to learn a lot about me. I'm going to because I have my own profile right here. Um, so um, again, you can change the background um, cover uh, a photo along with the profile photo right over here. By clicking on, oops, by clicking on that little pen icon. Uh, wherever you are on LinkedIn, just click on the me button. Do you see it? It's over here on the top right. I want to make sure that you're able to see it. It's over here on the top right, right over here. Click on the me button. Okay. And um, that will give you, oops, just lost access. I'm going to erase this. That'll give you access to your profile at any time by clicking on view profile. And it'll look like this. As you want to add information, as you add info, you're going to click on add profile sections. And we're going to actually take a look at uh, LinkedIn uh, in more detail away from our PowerPoint presentation, <clears throat> presentation, um, and so on and so forth. So uh, let's take a look here. See, let's take a look here. See, where am I? Uh, here I am right here. And I am on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is right over here. Here's my profile right here. Again, don't hesitate to click on this little 
icon right over here that'll get, allow give you the ability to edit that profile you can give it a name you can add all sorts of information over here including that edu uh, education basic info pronouns headlines current position and so on next uh next right over here let's talk about the business page that's right you can go ahead and start a business page on linkedin and attach your personal account to that business page and it's done fairly in a fairly straightforward way uh, it allows you are you have the ability to go ahead and click here on tools right here and in the very bottom they call it a company page this gives you the ability to create a company page right here are you able to see it it's in the very bottom right over here all right and so uh what that does let's click on it start a company page i'm going to clear the arrows uh it asks you it'll ask you to create a linkedin page can, being able to connect with clients employees and the whole linkedin community as your company so that's pretty key pretty cool uh it's kind of fun so uh, let's click on company right over here you have the option to create uh you put in a name uh, again add a unique linkedin address don't uh underestimate the power of this link right here because your web address will be linkedin.com slash company slash and then a unique LinkedIn address right over here. So for example, if the name of my company was, and I'm typing it as we speak here, uh, Leadership leadership Quick, for example, Leadership Quick, it will automatically generate leadership hyphen quick and it's available right there. Um, then you add all sorts of other information about your uh, company, including your website right over here, <clears throat> your industry, organization size and type you can even add a tagline right over here and then you need to uh, upload a logo again feel free to go ahead and use uh, the uh, program canva in order to design that logo it'll be uh, probably the best thing for you to do they recommend 300 by 300 what's nice about canva is that you have the opportunity to um, click on the logo function It'll say logo. So if I'm right here, for example, I can go ahead and I'm back on Canva here and click on logo and it gives us a logo here. This is 500 by 500 pixels. All right. Um, you can type in LinkedIn profile photo or go to custom size and do 300 by 300. So that's uh, that's right there for you. So you can go ahead and do that. Then comes a very important question as we're setting up LinkedIn's business uh, company page here. I verified that I am an authorized representative of this organization and I have the right to act, right to act on its behalf. Make sure that um, you think it, think it through before checking this box. If it's your company, of course, you are the authorized representative to speak on behalf of the company. So I always uh, want to bring people's attention to these little check boxes so that you don't uh, forget what you're uh, agreeing to. And then you'll go ahead and click on page, create page, and then it'll give you that little uh, little preview here. And then uh, that's it. And then that's about it. Let's click on uh, create page. It's asking me to fill out a little bit more, but this is how you set it up right here. Uh, let me go back here, back to my profile, back to my profile right here. Again, by clicking on the me button and clicking on the view profile right over here. Um, Again, I as a as an educator, I have a lot of uh, uh, streams on my feed for school teachers and educators and whatnot. And so there you go. Um, then you'll be able to run your business uh, company page very much like you would a uh, very much like you would a personal LinkedIn page, being able to post uh, as your as your company and so on, and having all that information there. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. That's about it. Uh, let's take a look here, see. Um, that is, all right. So Christy has uh, posted in the chat a, um, uh, let's see, uh, posted in the chat and says, uh, here's one of many articles about the different post, uh, Instagram posting options. Thank you, Christy, absolutely. Um, we are a team, I'm very grateful. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Um, and so the article is there for all of you to go ahead and take a look at. Maybe you want to bookmark it. Um, and so it's all right there. Uh, this is another great example of platforms adapting each other's functionality. Now, LinkedIn, this is true, has worked really hard, stolen features. This is true to shed its reputation of being just a real simple static repository of resumes. Christy put it very well. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Christy. Uh, there was one question that uh, we had lingering over Instagram. Becky asked if we can uh, list more than one category, and I'm not exactly sure what that means, but if so, if you don't know what that means, maybe Becky, you can unmute Go and ahead. ask your question. Go ahead, uh, Becky. It's all right. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Oh, sorry, no mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> So uh, that's all right. That's all right. Um, if you can elaborate on that, um, or if we've answered, um, uh, if we've answered the, the the question here, um, so go ahead, Becky, uh, and post it uh, on the chat. Yeah, it happens. Technical issues with the microphone happens all the time. It's all right. It's perfectly fine. It's all right. I, I might be able to touch on that just a little. Yes, bit. go ahead, Eric. Um, yeah, if there are different categories, uh, so yeah, antique sales and repairing services. Uh, is what you got in there, Becky. Um, it's they're kind of broad categories and, and you don't need to get maybe too hung up on the category type in Instagram, as long as you've kind of classified what you're doing. So if it's antiques, that totally works. And it, uh, the category may just be like retail sales or something along those lines. Um, it's probably your name that's going to stand out or, you know, what yeah. you're posting. Um, and the hashtags, things like that, that kind of help people find your business and uh, what you're doing. That that's a big help. So that that would be primary. So wouldn't worry too much about the actual category itself. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Go team. Go team. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, we are over here. Just making sure that uh, there you go. Uh, let's take a look here. See, whoops, right here. So again, just to show you, we create a company page down over here on the right. And again, and I just showed you this, this is the slide deck. So, all right. And so I'll just go quickly here, but in bringing all that information over here, uh, for you. Absolutely. All your company's information right here, slowly, but surely you'll build your page, your company page on LinkedIn. And uh, it'll, there's this little meter here, this little gauge here that shows you what you're missing, you know, uh, in order to really build that page and get the best engagement that you can. Absolutely. All right, right over here. So what do I post on my LinkedIn page? All right, so uh, one thing that you can try, um, which is a good rule of thumb here, uh, for posts to your business LinkedIn page, create content that other businesses would be interested in. What kind of content would be helpful for you? Right, and so you can post that kind of content. So that's a good, quick, quick shorthand to go ahead and um, and to know what to post. Let's talk about Twitter. We have about 10, 12 minutes left. Uh, let's talk about Twitter. Uh, Twitter is, uh, again, a microblogging site that allows you to post 280 characters. Twitter gives um, people a platform to discuss trending topics that you feel strongly about. Some uh, information about Twitter that we uh, saw last time, just, just uh, as a refresher. It's never a bad idea to get a refresher. <laughs> it has 340 million users. We're talking about half a billion tweets every day. And uh, about a quarter of Americans, 20 to 25% of Americans, 22% use Twitter. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty neat. Before you begin, you're, oops went a little fast here. You're going to need your email address, phone number, profile photo, and a cover photo that you're going to need. And again, we're talking about how to set up Twitter. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on sign up right over here. So twitter.com, right? You're going to give yourself uh, a name, a phone number, and then it asks for your birthday, which will not be shown publicly. Okay. Very important. All right. Uh, even and it, it says this is this is always a question that I get. It said, "Do I have to put in my date of birth if it's for a business?" Yes, you do. Yes, you do. They want to make sure that they gather that data and that information. And so here we go. Uh, so he, for example, here is here is our information. Click on sign up. 
uh, then uh, track where you see Twitter content across uh, the web. So uh, Twitter uses the data to personalize the experience so you can customize that experience or not. Okay, the web, this web browsing history will never be stored in with your name, email, or uh, info, or a phone number. Uh, then you get a verification code sent to your email right over here, and then uh, create that password select a profile photo. Again, you're starting to notice that it's very similar overall, right? You're logging in, setting it up, putting your email address, putting that phone number, your name, picking a profile photo, and then a quick bio about yourself, right? Right over here, um, right? Uh, so pretty straightforward. You can select any topics that you might be interested in right here, <laughs> right here, or you can skip for now. You can follow, start following people. They recommend, they just give a recommendation here, or you can click on next. And then it'll look like this. It'll look like this. It'll look uh, with a banner photo right here, profile photo right here, your name, your username right below, your bio, and then all that information will be there. Okay, so that is right there. So if you need to edit this at any time, click on the uh, blue circle, edit profile, that profile right here uh, will bring you back to this, which again will allow you to put in uh, a, a banner photo that you can resize accordingly and then click on save right here. Then click on save right here. Uh, once you're done, you can click on home and this uh, allows you to uh, see uh, your feed, so to speak. And then you can click on let's go or start tw uh, tweeting having the tweets right here. Uh, just wanted to clarify a couple of things. Uh, you can tweet with a picture by clicking here. You can add a GIF or a poll, which is right here. All right, a, uh, one of the emojis right here, or you can even schedule your posts right over here. You have different options, again, every time you are on Twitter. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Um, which is nice, which is really nice. Twitter is very straightforward and simple. All right, friends, it's time. I've got some questions for you. What was most helpful for you today? And please put it in the chat. What, it's a little bit of work <laughs> before, we, before we finish. What was most helpful for you today? Which social media site or sites are you thinking about for your business? All right, before our next session, look at other social businesses on social media and find a couple of things that you would like to adopt. Go ahead and borrow from them right? Don't violate copyright, <laughs> but you can always borrow great ideas, okay? That's, that's important, all right? So go ahead and put it in the chat, everybody, all right? I'll just give you just a little bit, uh, just a little bit, just a second. Great. Uh, as you're writing this down, just reading the chat, Christy uh, adds, um, Christy adds, uh, oops, All right. Uh, Christy adds, uh, uh, Twitter is another phone-based platform. Yes, most of Twitter is done uh, over, over the phone, but again, it can be done over the computer. Uh, uh, again, uh, unlike Instagram, right, that's, uh, you know, Instagram's functionality are really over the phone, right? That's, that's the key. Unlike Instagram, you can do the functionality with Twitter on the computer or on the phone, but it really is a phone-based uh, platform. So uh, Sarah uh, is talking about a Discord. I'm going to check it out today. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter says Ryan. Very good. Walking through to find that. So most helpful setting up all these accounts. I'm not uh, on most of these platforms, and I didn't realize they have a, all have a similar setup. That's right. They do all have a similar setup. So thank you, Don. Thank you uh, to everyone who is contributing in the chat. Absolutely. Great. That's great. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. All right. So very, very um, uh, wanted to remind you, this is who we are. Please feel free to give us a call. Probably the best thing uh, is uh, the email or the phone number, sbdc at bluecc.edu, or give us a call at 541-278-5833. One-on-ones are always helpful because you might have specific questions for your business that a, an advisor can help with. And that's key. 
That's key. I'm here uh, providing the general information. And again, all of our advisors are here. And there you go. Let me check the chat again, right here. Excited about setting up a business page? Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Christy has a hand up. Oh, thank you, Christy. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Sarah asked about recording of last week's. Is that ready yet? Uh, recording of last week's sessions. I'm, I'm, let me ask Eric uh, for rec uh, with regards to that. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so I see that on the chat there for Sarah. Just, uh, uh, there was a question, Eric, about the recording of last week's session. Yep. So we have the recording. I will, uh, we'll get that sent out. I was going to send them all out at the very end, um, cause we're going to do a little editing and then we'll get them up on our YouTube channel as well. So you'll get the links, um, at the end of the series. And, uh, if you'd like, I can just send them out one at a time. So we can do that as well. We'll get right. That. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, everybody. Well, uh, once again, uh, this has been, uh, Ardo Prévost <laughs> and uh, the whole team, not just me, Christy, Eric, uh, all here. We're a little early, but guess what? Class dismissed, everybody. Please feel free to give us a call. Again, let me put up that information. Uh, again, it's right here. All right. And everybody, um, thank you very much. I hope to see you next week. Uh, next week is website and e-commerce. So that's going to be great. All right. Thank you very much. Th thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you to the whole team. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> this has been great. Thank you, Sarah, for your questions. Becky, for your questions. Laura, Brendan, thank you so much. All right. Thank you for coming, everybody. <laughs>